So, Easy Theory has hit 1 million views. I am so incredibly happy on how this channel has actually grown over the last two and a little bit years. I never would have thought that we would have hit seven figure view numbers. I've always wanted to become popular on YouTube and I never thought it would be about theoretical computer science, but this is just what has happened. So what I wanted to do is to uh, talk about the state of the channel and what my plans are for it. So there's currently a backlog of a lot of videos that I haven't put out yet, mainly about professor stuff and some other things like Let's Fix Your Code. There are, are quite a few of those videos that haven't been released, so I'm just gonna eventually put those all out. But the thing I really wanna focus on is making higher quality content. So when we got a million views, I started looking through some of the old Easy Theory videos, and some of them, boy, I, I just can't watch them. They're just so bad in terms of stutters, in terms of mistakes, in terms of lack of consistency. So like a lot of the videos have very old intros that I have made and some of them have new ones, some of them don't have intros and outros at all. And the, there's just no consistency whatsoever. And the quality of the actual video itself is just subpar in a lot of cases. Like the audio sucks, the video sucks. I just wanted to get something out there so that I can build off of that, but now it's time to actually revisit it and let's fix it. So one thing that I want to eventually get is a good intro and a good outro that will apply to all Easy Theory videos. So I currently have one, but it's just a really lame intro that I created with just some sounds that I made and it's just a video of me pushing an easy button, which is kind of funny, but it's not really high quality in my opinion. A really important thing is that I want to develop good visualizations for this material because I think this is the best medium to communicate some of the theory concepts instead of just a static picture or static text on a page in a book or on a website. I want to have some kind of visualization of things moving. So like if we're making a state machine, I want to actually see the state being made and with transitions being made. And if I, for example, want to see what a Turing machine is doing, I want to do something like I would want to have a picture of, let's say, the Turing machine in a corner and then maybe like a, a zoomed in picture of like what state we're at in, a, in another corner. And then underneath in the bottom half, I want to have a visualization of what the tape is doing and as well as some animation. So like on the tape, I want to have uh, something being crossed off and then being updated with something. And then in the, at the same time in the Turing machine picture, I want to see the animation of what the Turing machine is doing because it's kind of hard to see what these machines are actually doing or really any algorithmic process by just having a static picture and you have to come up with it yourself. It's good to see an actual example worked out in detail instead of just me trying to explain it. So one thing that I want to do is I want to create some kind of piece of software that I will input, let's say, a Turing machine into it and it will automatically generate the whole computation as a movie. And then I could just upload that really easily instead of me having to create it by hand by scratch. So there are a lot of pieces of animation software out there such as Adobe After Effects, Manem, and there are a couple of other ones that I saw, but I don't have any experience in any of them. So if any of you have some experience in animation software, please let me know. The things that I would want in a piece of animation software are one, that it's easy to write code for. So maybe I want to write some Python thing for it. The second thing is I want it to be free or at least low cost, mainly because I don't make a lot of money from this channel. And so I want to be able to afford it, obviously. Three, I want it to have good support. And another thing about the animation software, number four, is that I want it to support some kind of LaTeX or math type system. So there are several that do this, but it's just, I don't have any experience in them. So if any of you have experience with that, please let me know. So if any of you have some animation experience, please let me know about it. Another thing that I want to do is I want to create the Easy Theory website. I did have some things on easytheory.org 
whatever the website is, is in the description, but there's currently nothing on it right now, which is kind of ridiculous. I've been having this website up and there's just no content on it. So what I want to make is a static web page uh, for each of the content things that I make. So like all the things in the intro easy theory playlist, I want to have a page for each one of those different things. But I do want to have a page that can be searched on Google because the number one place where people find my videos is through searching things on Google. So like people search context for grammar to push down automaton, they see, oh, here's a video on it and they find my video that way because people don't search easy theory unless they already know what that is. And the final thing that I want to focus on is I have an easy theory shirt. So there's a link to it in the video description. And many people have been asking about where can we find some more merchandise? Well, here's a shirt for you. And if you have any other ideas for shirts or any other kind of merch that you want to get, please let me know and then I can make it. So hopefully that was interesting. I do want to make this channel a lot higher quality, but it's gonna require a lot of work and thankfully the semester has wind down for me. So I should have some, in principle, a lot more time to work on this stuff. Thank you for a million views and thank you all for your support of the channel.